grade 3 math number 95, measure liquids. Liquid volume is the amount of liquid in a container. Volume means how much is being held in there. Okay? Now there's two ways of measuring in the world. There's metric and there's U.S. standard. Okay? That's what we use in the USA. But the rest of the world pretty much uses metric. And liter is a metric measure of liquid volume. There's a little more than three and a half liters in one U.S. gallon. They have 3.785 liters to a gallon, where we have four quarts to a gallon. Okay? So in the U.S., we use ounce, cup, pint, quart, and gallon to measure liquids. One cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. Each cup has eight ounces, fluid ounces in it. If you had two cups, then it would be equal to one pint. Now, because there's eight ounces in each of these cups, eight plus eight is 16, 16 fluid ounces. There's two pints in one quart. So each quart is 32 fluid ounces. There's four quarts in one gallon. And because each one of these is 32 ounces, each gallon has a 128 fluid ounces. See how that works? So a gallon of milk has four quarts in it. Okay? So, let's figure this out. What volume of liquid can a cereal bowl hold? Which one, of you, which one of these do you think a cereal bowl can hold? Well, you certainly can't put a whole gallon of milk in a cereal bowl. That would float over the sides. So it's not a gallon. And a quart would be an awful lot. My guess for a cereal bowl would be a pint. I think that you could put two cups of milk and cereal in a cereal bowl. This is one cup. See? That's not very big. So I think a cereal bowl could hold two of these. See how big it is to my hand? What volume of liquid do you think a kitchen sink could hold? When you're doing dishes, how much water do you think can be held in the kitchen sink when you put the plug in? I bet it's several gallons. Some sinks get pretty deep, so I bet it's a few gallons. What volume of liquid do you think a juice box would hold? Well, a juice box isn't very big. I bet it holds one cup. Now, what you can do is you can get a measuring cup, and you can get a liquid measuring cup from your kitchen, but get your parents' permission first and try pouring a cup full of liquid into another container and see how many cups it takes to fill that container. I've got a glass pitcher here. This is a one quart glass pitcher. See? There's four of these in a gallon. But that's pretty big compared to this little cup, isn't it? So I wonder how many of these would fit into that glass pitcher. I wonder. So get yourself, we'll get permission first, and then get a cup, a measuring cup, and get another container and see how many cups fit into that container. That's measuring liquids. I'll see you next video.